with Base Camp's famous supply time, is it? Supply drop time! Requesting a material drop for the designated point, please. Ooh, I see you're going for a supply drop. What time is it? Supply drop time! Requesting a material drop for the dead. Yes, let's keep it going! Yes, let's keep it going! Yes, let's keep it going! Go, yes, let's keep it going! Go, yes, let's keep it going! Go, yes, let's keep it going! Yes, let's keep it going! Just got a gear of Doga and then the Kai. Okay. 550. Alright. I'm more focused there. I ain't lucky. <laughs> Alright. Oh, let's go Free practice. Got 550 suit. Force tackle on. Pretty sure it's just the kick though. Yes, I was using the 500 eye attack. <laughs> uh, uh, I should be right around here. Good old bucket head. Jesus Christ, it's so green. Oh my god, it's so weird looking. Alright, miss explanation. There you go. We have the Girudoga Kai B B machine gun. I'm assuming uh, G N, or you can use the uh, Commander Girudoga beam rifle. K okay. beam sword. Is this literally just going to be the same as the? Uh, I think this is literally just the same as the uh, the Girudoga. Bro, <laughs> this is literally gonna be the same as the uh. Okay, wait, there's some stuff here. So you got Lich Shock is over level 3, Quick Boost level 2, Emergency Evasion System level 1, Anti Stealth level 1, uh, Observational Data Link, Anti Blast Stabilizer level 1, Flight Control Program level 2, High Performance Balancers, and back level 2, Active Guard level 3. Okay, that I wasn't expecting. Uh. 80% less damage when you're doing that. Power Accelerator level 2. Melee Combo Control level 1. Force Injectors level 2. Uh, special Leg Buffer level 1. That's 10% uh, off. Special Left Arm Equipment Buffer level 3. Holy shit. That means that's 30% less damage. Does that mean you take like no damage when you Active Guard? Because reduce damage by 80%. Holy shit. Okay, so that's that. And then right... Uh, arm buffer uh, reduces by 10%. Oh my god. This might be like a really tanky suit. Uh, if, 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 that's that's an active guard level 3. That's a Gustav Carl. That's the best active guard. That's the one where it's uh, you can do that while almost like balancers for active guard. Ready to that is insane. Yeah, that is uh, that's good. Alright, so this is a B machine gun with ASL, which is pretty nice. Uh, let's see what we got for stun accumulation, though. That is infinitely better than the regular Gyarados machine gun. Holy shit. Bro, that ain't okay. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, melee looks to be about the same as the... Uh, Regular gear dog goes. Oh, okay. Never mind. Down swings. Da oh, that hit multiple times. Either way, that hits. Wow. That is actually crazy. That almost would have reached, I believe. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's the beam sword. We got the heat wire, which if it's the same same as the gear dogas means it'll have a lot of range to it. So let's it's got to lean to the uh, left though, or lean to the right. So we have to compensate for that. Uh, a little bit further. 
Yep, that is a heavy stagger. Heat Hawk looks to be the same. Only one melee swing on that. Okay, only one melee swing. A little bit weird. So next we have the double Sturmfaust, which I said it should be the same as the Ghiradogas, but we have weapons that change now, so... Alright, so this should be... Alright, just normal stun, kind of like the Ghiradoga, stealth, and you have the grenade launcher. That is a pretty big blast radius. Yeah, that can be uh, really gross. Okay. So yeah, liking what I'm seeing here. That is insane melee damage too. Yeah, so uh, yeah, this is just <laughs> almost feels like improved Ghiradoga, uh, which already could be like a monster if you can if you get it right, right? Jeez, Louise. Let's go see what our tackle is real fast. <laughs> I'm already thinking about just... Oh my god, this machine gun's beautiful though. It's with the regular gear. <laughs> Alright, just the kick. That's actually a shame, but it's just the kick. Um, does really low damage, so obviously you're using this as a means to an end of getting a stun. Obviously. Uh... So not meant for, uh, like, damage output. That goes really far, actually. And you got 50 bullets with that? Damn. That is, yeah, that's good damage. Yeah, that is a uh, really great damage output. And with this shield too. So if that if you take minus 80% damage plus an extra minus 30% damage, I think you'll just be taking as little damage as possible. <laughs> well, let me turn on the uh, AI here. Oh, I ran out. Though that was uh, pretty good, no. Has ASO too. <laughs> the other guy came up from behind. All right. Uh. Yeah, that is pretty good. Let me see if I can do this combo. That is nearly a one combo on the GPO too. Yeah, that's that's that was a five thousand damage down swing on the on the B Max too. Only one swing, but it's got really good damage. Yeah, this suit's looking pretty nice. Best part is you can combo after the heavy. You don't have to. You don't have to quick swap either. You can just just cycle normally. You can just cycle normally. And then uh, you can pull up your extra stun right afterwards too. So you don't even have to quick swap that. So uh, nice swaps on this suit as well. So yeah, this suit is looking pretty dumb.
at least in that regard, right? That is, uh, yeah, definitely a pretty, just an improved Gyaradoga. Let me, let me do that one more time, just to... Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty sure... That's pretty good reach on that, so, uh, yeah. And you get a dodge roll, too. So you get dodge roll and active guard. So, uh, yeah, Buckethead here looking, uh, looking pretty nice. That's such a weird fucking shape, though. I kind of dig it, but at the same time, it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, yeah, this suit's gonna be, you can build this either really tanky or just, like, incredible melee damage. Uh, like, holy shit. Uh, but yeah, let's go take it out for a spin.